facing Yeah, face me. <laughs> I'll move out of your way a little bit uh, and move around maybe. Um, mm. <laughs> just like your normal classes. Just like my, yeah. what do I say right now? Uh, welcome to this post spring class. Uh, this is my amazing friend and um, also amazing student, Brad. Um, we're going to take you through a little uh, bow spring kata flow movement sequence. Um, take it where you need to. If you need to pause, you can, obviously. And uh, that's all. What's up, Brad? Say hi. <laughs> um, let's start it in all fours. <clears throat> cool. So take your hands as wide as the mat and uh, knees can stack underneath of your hips. Untuck the toes and press the top of the foot super strong down into the mat and pull back towards your knee to hollow the ankle. This is going to give you a strong engagement into the, um, into the glutes, the whole posterior chain. Knees are gonna push down and out to the side. This will raise the glutes even more into the sky. Belly is soft. Elbow armpits face inwards towards each other. So that external rotation of the elbows forward, little even little micro bend in that elbow to um, set up the shoulder in its proper alignment. Give the hands a little grip. So like that strong paw. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna push the mat away and fill into the upper back. Yeah, beautiful. So Brad's a pro and um, he makes he makes bow spring look so so easy. Let's take <laughs> let's take right leg out to the side. Come up onto dome right fingertips. Beautiful. So check out the tendency for the left elbow armpit to face forward. Let's face it back to the midline. Awesome. And find an energetic pull of the right knee more forward. Hero that ankle and keep the knee narrow so you keep the pelvic floor open. Super soft in the right fingertips. Fill into the upper back. One more full inhale. Exhale and lower down. Awesome. Right, uh, sorry, left knee lifts up. Coming up onto dome left fingertips. Ultra sensitivity of those fingertips. So just like the tip of the nail touching. Awesome. Fill into the upper back. Chin is lifted. Elbow armpit of the right side keeps facing to the midline. Find that energetic pull, like that isometric movement of the left knee forward. Open the belly, hips move back. Yes. Lower down. Switch sides. Yow, yow. <laughs> right knee out. Come up onto dome, right fingertips. Yeah, Brad nose, hand to the knee. So we take the hand and it melts the liquid. What that means is instead of this super ultra flexed hand, we melt the hand, the softness through the fingers. Arm goes straight and the knee pushes into the hand, hand resists. The belly opens to the right, butt moves back, chin stays lifted. Open it up, whoop, whoop, whoop. lower down, switch sides. Left knee goes out, dome left fingertips. You can stay here or you can move it up right away. Left hand moves to the top of the left knee or like I should say the, the front top. <clears throat> hand melts liquid, arm goes straight. Push the knee into the hand, hand resists. Use this, this, this energy to send the hips back. Open the belly more to the left. Chin stays lifted and throat stays open. Strong hero of both feet and ankles. Yeah, lower down. Cool. Tuck the toes, lift up into crouching cat. Rock on. So, <clears throat> Brad's got his feet in his hands exactly how I would want them for his practice. If you're a little bit more beginner, you'll have your feet uh, wider apart. This allows for you to open the pelvic floor more easily. Um, since Brad practices with me all the time, he can have his feet a little bit more narrow. He understands the importance of the lower lumbar moving in. From the paw, we root down. So the paw we call the toe pads and mounds as part of the foot. We want that plate, that part of the foot to be super solid in the mat. Heels energetically um, move to the back of the mat. So finding an, uh, a posterior chain lengthening. Awesome. From the paw, he pushes down and out to the side. Knees stay in line with the ankles. Glutes lift up to the sky. Belly is soft. Chin is forward past the wrist. 
Brad, take your arms a tiny little bit wider just to give your shoulders more space. Yeah, super cool. A fullness in the upper back, that's like a number one priority <clears throat> so that we give the thoracic spine all the space to have its full curve that allows the lower lumbar and the, and the cervical to have its space. Brad's like, can we move? Uh, bend and extend your legs. So sometimes just like staying in that like super strong, <laughs> like crouching cat is strong, right? <laughs> There's nothing weak about that guy. Check out the elbow armpits. Uh, keeping that little bend in the elbow is going to um, keep the elbows facing inwards towards each other. Awesome, and then find some stillness. Cool, twist your cat to the right. Toes to the right, knees to the right. Hips sit low towards the heels. Left ear drops towards left shoulder. Lift up through the right ribs. Beautiful extension through the whole right side body. Brad keeps his little dome fingertips and even creeps it forward a little bit to extend the line as he pulses to lift up through the left, uh, right ribs. Paws root down. From the paw, he finds an engagement into the glutes. The glutes keep moving, uh, sorry, the hips keep moving back as the belly opens to the right. Breathing nice and controlled, soft. Come back to center. Twist your cat to the left. Toes to the left, knees to the left. Hips sit low towards the heels. Left, uh, sorry, right ear drops to right shoulder. Lift up through the left ribs. We've been creeping the little dome fingertips on his left forward to extend the line that he pushes up into. As he sits back, he maintains the lower lumbar curve moving in, hips back, belly opens to the left. One more, rooting down through the paw, lifting up through the left ribs. Come back to center. Awesome. A couple of cat burglar hops. Hop forward, hop back. Landing light. Awesome, landing with the toe pads and mounds. Little spring in the knee. Woo, yeah. Brad's like this close to having a handstand and holding it like super pro. Once he finds it, he's gonna like, it'll, it'll be there if it's not already. Yeah. Okay, hop back and stay. Okay, let's take right knee out to the side. Dome right fingertips. Drop the left ear to left shoulder, pick up through the right ribs. Find a stoke your motor. So imagine your heels dragging back through molasses or honey or something really sticky. And make your hammies like sing. They're like, ah, honey. <laughs> right? <laughs> Belly opens to the right, hips keep moving back. Great. We're going to move from here into Revolved Kitty. So Brad's going to drop right hand down, dome to right, pivot on the left foot, step right foot beside the left, hips sit back towards the heels, left ear ecstasy, drop right ear to right shoulder, pick up through the left ribs, sit down, lift up. Big breathing. Take it slow. Awesome. One more. Big extension. Come back to center, left hand dome to right, twist back, crouching cat. Cool. Narrow the knees to lower the knees. <clears throat> walk the knees back just a little bit, panther prep. Hands walk wide off of the mat. Cool. So knees, knees shouldn't feel bony here. We should feel like we're on the very base of our thigh. And then we're gonna find a hamstring curl. Heels pull towards the butt. So the butt lifts up and we, we try fiercely to get the, the hammies and the posterior chain to engage. Belly stays long. Top of the head keeps reaching forward. So the hips are like being pulled back and the heart's being pulled forward. Then you're gonna come down halfway. Elbows out to the side. Less is more. Keeping space between the shoulders. Lift back up and keep going at your own pace, nice and slow. Cool, one more. And then lift up and sit back onto the heels. <clears throat> What's up? <laughs> Take 
take both hands into ecstasy, cup the back of your head. Awesome, let's have a couple of like little belly lengtheners. So forearm stretch up to the sky, find a pulse, heroed ankles. Keeping the engagement into the butt, knees push down and out to the side, belly stays along. Cool. Yeah, one more, little pulse. And then you're gonna come back to a neutral spine and take your right hand, twinkle it out to the right, lift up through the left ribs. Yeah. Cool. And then take your right hand, sit back down towards your heels and cross the right hand to the left thigh, arch over again. Little resistance to stretch deeper. Now take your chin down to your right shoulder, twist the ribs up towards the left, and then spiral. <laughs> Tack your right hip back a little bit more. Mm -hmm. <laughs> cool, come back up to center, sit back, and just relax. Take a breath. <sighs> well, how are you doing? Good. Good. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, back hands into ecstasy. Yeah. And then let's just belly lengthen for a couple, like just one of those belly lengtheners. So like lift up, stretch it long. Cool. And then come back up to center and take left hand out to the side. <clears throat> Little twinkle star, lift up through the right ribs. Drop the left ear to left shoulder, pick up through the ribs some more. Tack the left hip back. Keeping the tube nice and long, it's like the pelvic floor to the crown of the head. We imagine this like rainbow. Um, take your, what is your left hand? Catch the outside edge of your right thigh, a little resistance to stretch deeper. Now take your chin down to your left shoulder, twist just the ribs, and then spiral up towards the right. These guys are super intense. At least I find them super intense, but it's like the most yummy stretch in here. Ah. <laughs> Come back to center. Have a pause. Relax the hands. Take a breath. Hmm. And then open the eyes, take the butt back, reach the arms forward, stay full in the upper back and come down dome to bright all fours, please. Lower the, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right knee out to the side. Cool. And then let's take right hand ecstasy this time. Yeah. Now, uh, this uh, right knee is going to energetically pull towards here, but we're going to use that to send the butt back, open the belly, press the head back into the hand, open the throat. One more full inhale. Exhale, lower down. Next side. Left knee out, dome left fingertips, ecstasy that hand if you fancy it, press the head back into the hand, open the throat, open the belly, find that energetic pull of the knee forward to send the hips back, open the belly some more, whop, 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 lower down, tuck the toes, lift up, crouching cat. Let's have some hops, hops on the spot. <clears throat> cool. So he's pushing the mat away so strong. Hands grip, give those little paws some gripping. Mm -hmm. And then let's have a hop to handstand. Yeah, cool. So Brad's rock star, he's gonna take his knees and bend them more towards 90 degree. Nope, he's gonna go down. <laughs> it's okay, we'll play again in a second. Take your um, right knee, uh, sorry, what is your left knee out to the side, open leg. Nope, crouching cat. <laughs> um, yes, so, awesome. Right ear to right shoulder, lift up through the left ribs, super light on the left fingertips, find that energetic pull of the left knee forward, open the belly up to the, what is the left? Now, stoke your motor. Like your heel is pulling back in tar. No, honey's way better. Or even molasses is way better. So in Nicaragua, 
and in Costa Rica, actually it's not in Nicaragua, it's in Costa Rica, they um, cover the roads in molasses so to keep the dust down. <laughs> so you smell this molasses all the time, it's really nice. Okay, and now left hand comes down, dome to right, and we're going to pivot on the right foot, step the left beside the right, revolve kitty, hips it low, left ear to left shoulder, ecstasy right arm. Lift up through the ribs, beautiful. Hips keep moving back, belly opens to the right, those ribs lift up to the sky. Cool, one more. And then we're gonna twist back. Cool. Ha ha! Yeah, twist your cat to the right. Toes to the right, knees to the right. Hips it low towards the heels. Lift up through the right ribs. Cool. Awesome, option to X to see that arm for sure. Elbow hugs in towards the cheek. Elbow reaches forward, hips stay moving back. Opening the belly to the right. <clears throat> cool, let's drop the left foot to pick up the right foot. One arm, one leg, side balance. <laughs> You're like, what? <laughs> Hips back, belly opens, knees forward. So it's like this, like, feet back, knees forward, hips back, belly forward, head back, elbow forward. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna take that right foot and step it forward and twist open into side coil pose. Yeah. Right forearm to the top of right thigh, ecstasy left arm, reach the elbow forward, find a little pulse. Hips move back, that left paw pivots up to the top left hand corner of the mat and hover the heel, root down through the toes, energetic pull of the left foot back and then a stretch through the left elbow towards me. Option to take your right hand, catch outside edge of left thigh if you like it. This just gives you a little bit of a deeper stretch. Woo hoo hoo! Cool, one more full inhale. Exhale, let's release the thigh, take both hands ecstasy and lift all the way up and pivot your feet to face this way. Now Brad's booty's on the, on the, <laughs> on the display. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, shut up. <laughs> cool. And so let's take both hands ecstasy and do a wide stance uh, belly opener. So rooting down through the paws, a little particular emphasis on the big toe to get that first uh, big toe arch in, in, the, in the rooting down. This kind of sets your foot up for success. So from the paw, rooting down, pushing out and down and out to the side, into the knees, knees stay in line with the ankles, and then finding a pulse. Sit down, hips move back, and then forearms stretch up to the sky, belly stretches forward, hips stay moving back. Little pulses, sitting down and lifting up. Cool. One more. And then let's take our hands to our knees, please. Little shoulder dips, so right shoulder to the left. And left shoulder to the right. Mm, right shoulder to the left. And left shoulder to the right. Cool, little dips back and forth, just a couple of them. Cool, and then come back to center when that's even. And take a little pounce to lift the torso up. Pivot your right toes forward and take a step forward. Wow, welcome. <laughs> Cool, feet are hip width apart. Let's take both hands ecstasy. Let's do a little belly lengthener, so rooting down through the paws, knees energetically push out, sit down and lift up. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Awesome, one more. And then find a neutral spine and take a little crescent to the right. Elbows hug forward, 
Reaching up with the left bottom ribs towards the sky, hips stay level. We almost like tack the left hip back, root down through the paws. From the paws, we push down and out to the side to engage into the glutes. Right hand releases, catch outside edge of left thigh, a little resistance to stretch deeper. <clears throat> We're gonna play with leveling up here, but option to stay here. So Brad's going to hover his left heel. If that feels okay, he's going to lift up the left foot in a hero foot. Thigh pulls against the hand, hand resists. Belly bows forward, hips move back. Ribs lift up to the sky as we start to drop the ear and lift up. What, 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 one more full inhale. Exhale, come back to center and just take your hands, little dome fingertips to the top of your thighs and take a breath. Ooh, I know, I'm good at kicking butt. <laughs> Are you doing okay? Yeah, of course. Okay, take both hands ecstasy, come back to your head. Yeah, let's take it over to the left right away. <clears throat> So crescents to the left, hips stay level, paws root down, from the paw we push down and out to the side, this engages into the butt, butt and hips stay back and the butt lifts up. Big crescent over to the left, let's take uh, what is your left hand, catch outside edge of your right thigh. Little resistance to stretch deeper. I like to think of creating rainbows all over the place or like nice arcs. Yes. <laughs> Now, option to stay here or option to level up. Brad's going to level up. He's gonna hover his uh, right heel and then lift up the right foot. Hero that ankle so that we don't lose that engagement in that leg. Thigh pulls against the hand, hand resists. Belly bows forward, hips move back. Ribs lift up, ear drops as we've, it's like the teapot, teapot story over. Ew, yeah. <laughs> and then come back up and give a little shake out. <laughs> yeah, okay, so um, let's step wide, step wide, and take a deep squat. Move hips back, have a little glide from the side to side. Wah, wah. Your dance moves. My dance moves, yes. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Embarrassingly, yes. Hands come down to the mat, little dome fingertips, step back, step back. Crouching cat. Cool, hop your feet together. Now hop your feet apart. Hop your feet together and stay. Twist yourself to the left. Side chair, sit down towards your heels. Right ear to right shoulder, lift up through the left ribs. Let's take your, um, what is your top leg? What is that leg? The left leg and lift it up. <laughs> Knees keep pulling forward, hips move back and belly opens to the left. Ear drops to the shoulder, lift up through the right. Cool, one more full inhale. Exhale, we're gonna take that left ankle and cross it over top of right thigh to set up falcon pose. Yeah, cool. Left knee pivots up to the top left hand corner of the mat. Left ankle sits right in front of the right thigh in a heroed foot. So that push down of the top of the foot and pull back towards the knee. Coming down two seeds forward <clears throat> to lower your elbows or your forearms down to the ground. Brad's got this little hollowing right here happening, which is super cool because when you do that, it's like to engage into the, the posterior chain of your arm, so the tricep. Top of the head reaches forward. Super full here. Little hamstring curl of the right heel towards the butt and knees are gonna push down and out to the side. We've got some actions here, so elbows can energetically pull back towards the knee you get this effect of feeling like your ribs are moving forward and your hips are pulling back. So a lengthening of the torso once again. Can we find a like a softness? Even though we're like, whoa, it's so hard. Is there some ability to sensitize and just be soft? Soft in the face, soft in the neck. It's like that fine line of like, 
can we be sensitive but maintain the integrity of the uh, engagement? Hard, freaking hard. Okay, one more full inhale. Exhale, let's uh, lift into here first, then lift the elbows, yeah. And then take the hands back. Now we're going to take this foot out to the side. <clears throat> yeah, like this, like this cool thing. Oh, my hammies. <clears throat> I did something cool. <laughs> oh. Yeah, so this is cool. <clears throat> We've got the block because the block gives us that added awesome height that we want. Um, Brad's got his right foot heroed. More of the top pod down on the mat, to, so like a lower hollow. Yeah, and like we can have this pretty bent, this left leg, which is out on a bit of an angle. So it's like um, um, splits lizard, but bow spring style. So we've got the height to keep the lower lumbar moving in and also the block uses as this thing that we can push into to stay full in our upper back. Brad's got his left foot in a heroed foot, so that, that heroed ankle. And he's gonna push a heel down and pull it back. He doesn't need to have this straight or lock through because I'm sure he's getting hammy stretch. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yes. yeah, <laughs> sweet. One more full inhale. Exhale, let's take the left foot back all fours. I'll take my block. <clears throat> and then let's lift up, crouching cat. Cool. Yow, yow. Um, twist your cat to the left. <clears throat> Toes to the left, knees to the left, hips sit low towards the heels. Pick up through the left ribs. Right ear drops to right shoulder, root down through the paws, keep the hips moving back and the ribs lifting high. Beautiful. Let's drop the, the right to pick up the left, one arm, one leg, side balance. Beautiful. Belly bows to the left, hips move to the right. Got that energetic pull of the knees forward. One more full inhale. Take the eyes, look forward. Step left foot forward, open up side coil pose. Yoo-hoo! Left forearm to the top of left thigh. X to see the right arm. Right foot pivots up to top right hand corner of the mat. Hover the back heel and from the paw, root down and pull back like this racing action, like wow, I'm gonna take off for a race. And as you do that action, reach the elbow forward. Hips keep moving down and back. Lower lumbar stays moving in and the belly opens to the right. Little pulse if you want it. Sometimes if I pulse here, I fall. So, I mean, it just puts me out of balance. It's uh, super important then to root down through the toes. <clears throat> Left hand can catch the outside edge of the right thigh. Little resistance, the thigh pulls against the hand to stretch deeper. Reach the elbow towards the knee, nice and strong. Whoa! Cool. And then release the thigh, take both hands ecstasy, lift all the way up, pivot your feet to face the side, yeah. Yeah. Cool. I'm gonna give you this block. <laughs> yeah. So deep squat, root down through the toes. Pause, root super strong, even hover the heels. So putting more of the weight into the paw to really train ourselves that that part is important. Lighter in the heels, more weight in the paw. From there, Push down and out to engage into the butt, hips back, bellies along. It's like, I'm gonna come here and I'm going to pull the hips back, but reach forward. Yeah, so it's like this opposing energy where the ribs reach forward and the hips pull back. Let's take right hand ecstasy, cover the back of your head. Yeah. Elbow faces down, head pushes back into the hand, hand resists, keeping full in the upper back, belly's long, and switch sides. Left hand ecstasy, elbow faces down to the ground, head pushes back into the hand. Pause, keep rooting down and pushing out. So good. And then let's take both hands to the block and glide from side to side. 
Yeah. As we're gliding, we don't need to extend the legs so like towards like total straightness. Just uh, you know, because straight isn't cool all the time. <laughs> Curves are cool. Bends, bends are, bends are the rule. Um, <laughs> big bend in the knees. Come back to center and take a little bounce to lift up. Yeah, pivot their left toes forward and take a pounce to step forward. Yeah. <laughs> little shimmy shimmy shake. <clears throat> um, let's uh, step wide, step wide. Deep squat. Hips back, arms forward. I'm going to grab your hands. People at home probably don't get this, but it's really nice. <laughs> Hips move back, belly's super long. Paws root down, knees energetically pushing out. Now, sit lower, releasing, take your hands down to the ground. Hop back. Yeah. Cool. Hop your feet together. Hop your feet apart. And hop your feet together. And stay. Let's twist your chair to the right. So feet plant down and the like together. The more they plant down, the more solid your base is. So set up the base strong and then we can like root to rise. Uh, pause rooting down, knees stay bent, hips go back towards the heels and then we lift up through the right ribs. Like you're creating this like human rainbow. One arm, one leg side balance, awesome. Pick up the right, <clears throat> knees stay moving forward, hips stay moving back, belly keeps moving forward, awesome. Take your left hand, plant it, uh, sorry, right hand, plant it down, dome to right, and right ankle's gonna cross over top of left thigh, set up falcon pose. Cool. Knee narrows towards the top, la, 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 right hand corner of the mat. Two seeds forward, two lower forearms down to the ground. Filling into the upper back, right ankle sits right in front of left thigh. Left heel energetically pulls towards left butt. Knees push down and out to the side and find the action of the elbows pulling back towards the, uh, the knees to feel like your ribs stretch forward, hips pull back. Yow, yow. Do, 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 do. Don't get my hot beats in this class, unfortunately. Okay, so filling into the upper back first, then we lift the elbows, thumbs point more forward, so we find a lightness. Walk the hands back, tuck the back toes, push yourself up, crouching cat toe. Okay, so set this up nice and strong, maybe a couple pulses, sending the hips back. As we send the hips back, can we keep the butt up? Yeah. Arms push straight. Elbow, armpits face inwards towards each other. Cool. Let's take the right knee out to the side. Awesome. Holding here, just suspended in air for one big full inhale. And a deep exhale. Take the eyes, look forward, and little step forward. Big bend in the knees, pick up to a um, little lunge. Yeah, back heel hovers. Mm -hmm. Cool, hands at the hips. Yeah, little flip. And so when I say a little flip, it's like because we're taking our, our hips from static neutral to dynamic neutral, setting the hips to a place where they're like back and, and can have the potential to lift up. And then take your hands to your butt. Whoa, lift it up. Yeah. And then hands to the top of your thighs and find an extension through the right uh, leg. So extending, uh, going towards straight, but not necessarily straight. And I like to keep a micro bend in my knee pretty much all the time. Left paw roots down and pulls back. Belly stays long, chin is lifted. Mm -hmm. Even like, um, here's a nice place for blocks. I love the blocks here. Yeah. Cause then you have something that you can like push away, fill into the upper back, belly stays long, and then we can really focus on the legs. Mm -hmm. Brad's like, you're 
you're killing me. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> it's good. I know. Okay. I'm going to take the blocks from you. We're going to take hands into the globe. Fingertips connect. Fingers are soft, but the energy is strong. It's like we're holding a big beach ball. Elbows push forward. Take a pounce and pick the back foot up. Propeller pose. Torso leans forward. Yeah, that left heel energetically pulls to left butt. Woo, we're shaking. Okay, we're not gonna hold this here. We're gonna take your left knee forward and cross ankle squat. Mm -hmm. Hands to the, one to the inside of the knee and one to the ankle. Arms push straight, belly goes forward, lift the chin. Woo. Take a breath and exhale. Awesome. One more. And exhale. Cross that left leg all the way over. Couple of Phoenix kicks hands. Yeah, yeah, let's, no, let's take it here. Um, hands into genie arms. Mm -hmm. So here, it's like I catch before my elbows, but if you want to catch your elbows, you can. And then I just use the energy of that, like, wah, to widen through the back shoulders. And then he's going to root down with the paws, squish the knees together. Left paw is going to push down and drag back. And then he's going to, again, you don't have this, this option, but he's going to push down the elbows into my hands to lengthen the ribs up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. So good. One more full inhale. Exhale, and then step the left foot wide. Step wide, step wide. Mm -hmm. yeah, and then let's say hands out in front of us and take a deep squat. Ha! Ah, we never do this. <laughs> You're like, what are we doing? Um, and sometimes you don't know. Hands come, hands come down. <laughs> don't, right? Step back, step back, crouching cat. <laughs> um, take your left leg out to the side yeah and just holding it suspended here right ear to right shoulder lift up through the left ribs belly opens to the left as we do these openers the tendency is for the right knee display to the inside or the standing leg display so hug it to the outside edge one more full inhale take the eyes look forward and step forward Woo! And then finding that little setup, take both hands to the hips. Mm -hmm. Little flip. And hands to the butt, lift it up. Hands move to the top of the thighs to start, little dome fingertips. And belly bows forward, chin stays lifted. We find an extension through the left leg. Gonna give them these blocks again, cause blocks are cool. Yeah, so blocks are cool because we can push the blocks away. Fill into the upper back, belly stays long, hips keep moving back. <laughs> yeah, one more full inhale. Exhale, give me the blocks, hands into globe, fingertips connect. Cool. Fingers are soft, energy is strong, elbows push forward, making big, broad, expansive. Boop, 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 boop. Transfer the weight into your front foot, take a pounce and pick the back foot up into propeller pose. La right heel energetically pulls towards the right butt like a hamstring curl. Standing leg stays bent, we root down through those right uh, left to toes and paw. Yeah. One more full inhale. And then take your right knee forward and cross the ankle over top of the thigh, cross ankle squat. One hand to the inside of the knee and one hand to the ankle. The right um, foot is heroed and we can fiesta it. That fiesta is the external rotation of the foot so it faces down to the ground. Arms push straight, belly bows forward, lift the chin. Yeah, Kirby is the coolest. Rock on, let's cross that leg all the way over for a Phoenix kickstand and take the arms into the switched up, yeah. So we always have like that, that place that we, we always go to, the, it's like one hand down, the other hand down. Can we all, can we switch it, switch, switch, switch. Mm -hmm. 
I'll come back here. So here, energetically elbows pull apart to stay broad and spacious through the back body. And then we can find this energy like the elbows are pushing down so that we can lift the ribs, separate them away from the hips. Squishing the knees together, pause, root down. One more full inhale. Exhale, step the right foot to the right and release the hands and shake. La, 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 la. Yeah. Um, step wide, la, la, step wide, step wide. Deep squat, hips back, arms forward. Take hands down, dome to bright. Step back, step back, crouching cat. <clears throat> yow, yow. Okay, twist your cat to the right. Hip sit low, lift up. Let's take a back cat because they're cool. Right foot, sneaky slide behind left. Hip sit low towards the heels. Left ear to left shoulder, pick up through the right ribs. <clears throat> Beautiful, option to spin it open if you fancy. Yeah, <clears throat> so Brad's just taken his left hand and externally rotated it so that he can have more space and op um, opportunity in his shoulder. Cool, hips sit low, belly bows up, ear to shoulder, mm -hmm. yes. Cool, come back to center. And let's take it to the left, sit down, lift up. Cool, couple of these guys, feels nice. X to see the left hand. Let's do a back cat, left foot slides behind right. Sit hips low towards the heels, pick up through the left ribs. Ear stays connected to the shoulder. Option to spin it open, that external rotation to give yourself a little bit of space and then he connects the ear to the shoulder as he begins to open the heart to the sky, find a pulse, sit hips low. Yes, lift that beautiful. Hands there supporting the head, opening the heart. Woohoo! Guess what? It's almost over. <laughs> Let's have a hop. Um, actually, just like, ha yeah, have a hop. <clears throat> Woohoo! Belly opens, knees energetically pull down. Here are those feet. Yeah. Slow the breathing. Yeah! Whoa! <laughs> okay, hop down, crouching cat. Twist your cat to the right. And then twist your cat to the left. And then lower your right hip down and reach your right arm long, side bow. Beautiful. And then using this as transition, head drops off with the bicep, arms reach up to the sky, roll onto your back, shimmy back onto your mat. Cool, freedom pose, hands to the knees. Allow the knees to be, uh, the feet to be soft so they can just dangle above your sits bones. Arms pull straight and knee, so <clears throat> knees pull heavy. Arms, so that arms go straight. Why? Because it's brought into your shoulders. Belly stays long, lower lumbar stays lifted. Let's have a couple rocks from side to side. You can kick the butt, but then you must neutralize and calm the nervous system. <laughs> <laughs> This is how we do. Cool. Let's release your feet down <clears throat> and take your right, actually I lie, take your knees back into the air <laughs> on that 90 degree and reach your arms up to the sky. Um, actually take your hands into chin up bar. Um, and so if you're on your own, you can be chin up bar like this. So he's got little dome fingertips beside his ears and elbows up to the sky. If you're with me, or somebody. You can go like this and somebody's gonna resist you. So you're gonna get this added like resistance. I'm pulling against his hands, he's resisting me. Elbows are pulling towards his knees. And then he's gonna make some big circles like he's on a, um, what do you call that thing? The, the no, uh, the other type of circles. Like we're going for a bicycle, but um, yeah. Yeah, that thing. What's this thing, the, the water wheel? Uh, water you know the thing that you pedal in the i don't know how. anyways it's it's we take we're taking big circles here 
And this is probably like way harder. <laughs> yeah, and then switching directions, awesome. When we can find things like that we can pull against to resist, the same thing is with your feet. If somebody like had like something like it was, if we were actually pulling our heels through molasses, it would be so much harder. We get stronger in our belly. The key is keep your lower lumbar lifted and your belly long and find the pulls through there. Cool, and then release. Hands to the knees, little freedom pose is always my safe place. It's like, oh God. <laughs> Great, and then take your feet and just lower them down and pull your right knee in towards your chest, interlace your hands behind your thigh. Allow your thigh to pull heavy against your hands so that your arms go straight. Yeah, and then from there, hero the ankle and then begin to lengthen through the leg. So gentle little hammy stretch. It's known as thigh root pose, so we don't call this like a hamstring stretch. We call it like this idea where we're trying to like root our leg into our hip socket, so the femur into the hip socket. Hero to ankle, and then you could even play with like rotating the, the foot, so fiesta foot, little pew, external rotation. Chin stays lifted. <clears throat> Brad's got the shakes. I always get the shakes in this. It's like jackhammer leg. Awesome. And then you're gonna take that ankle, cross it over top of the, yeah, yeah, the left thigh. <clears throat> Brad catches there. I catch pretty much the same place. Um, if you lose the integrity of your lower lumbar, if it like drops down to the mat, then you've probably gone too far. So another option is just grabbing the shin or, or not even lifting the leg at all. Sometimes softer is cooler. Chin stays lifted because because it's interesting when I'm here it's it's inter um, it's it feels like you can look at your legs a lot which ends up flattening your cervical spine cool and then release and uncross your legs and let's switch sides left knee pulls in and interlace your hands behind your thigh Allow your thigh to pull heavy so that your arms go straight. Why? Because this broadens through your shoulders. And then from that place, <clears throat> extend through the leg, hero the ankle. You can fiesta the foot if you want, that little external rotation of the like the fiesta flare. And um, I like to imagine my heel pulling down towards my hip. Thigh root pose, belly's long, rooting the femur into the hip socket. And then release and just cross that ankle over top of the thigh. Hero both of the feet still and catch where you want. I like, um, it, so when we're pulling the knee in, it's nice to keep the knee narrow because this allows your groins to hollow. It gives you more space and just feels nicer and for your hips. <clears throat> yeah. Belly stays long, and again, if you lose the lower lumbar moving in, then maybe come back a little lesser degree of the, sometimes depth of stretch isn't as important as maintaining, take, I, I would say all the time. Depth of stretch is not as important as maintaining integrity in the alignment of your body. And then release and take your feet as wide as the mat <clears throat> and uh, allow your knees just to fall to the right. And your arms can find uh, chin up bar or cactus arms, whatever you like. 
and you can lift your right foot up and gently place it to the outside edge of your le uh, left knee if that feels okay. Here, like I just like to emphasize, I don't know, it kind of feels just nice in my belly and along the side. Um, belly stays lifted and hips root down. I have this clock that you hear ticking. I never look at it. <clears throat> and I think it's funny that I have this clock because I think like the time is wrong and it's always wrong. I don't think it works properly, but it's always ticking. Yep. And take an inhale and engage the core to lift up and cross the leg and just switch over to the other side. Little windshield wiper, twist of the legs to the left. Option, if it feels okay, to pick up the left foot and place it gently to the outside edge of the right knee. Belly stays long and lifted. Chin stays lifted. Na 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 na. And take an inhale, engage the core and lift up to center and cross your legs and freedom pose to end the class. <clears throat> Little rocks from side to side, bellies long, chins lifted. And then extend your legs out long. And take your hands to your butt, untuck your butt. And can wrap around yourself, give yourself a big bear hug. Wrap, grab for opposite shoulders and spread them to lie a little bit more lovely. And then arms can splay out to the side, palms face up or down. Take a few moments of rest. Because why not? <laughs> All the work, you get the rest. It's like the treat. Cool, and stay here as long as you want. <clears throat> and that's the wrap. Namaste! <laughs> <laughs> High fives. Thanks. You're welcome. <laughs>